What's going on, guys? Jordan Connect here with the Pat Strange. And uh, not going to lie, this is the first time I have ever done anything like this. So we're just going to roll with the punches today. I'm, I'm praying to God that this video comes through clearly and works out well. Uh, we're not doing anything live. Obviously, this is going to be pre-recorded, but we will work our way up to that point. So this is episode one of a 100-episode um, entrepreneur uh, interview show. Don't have a name for it yet, but when I do, obviously, it'll be linked somewhere. And uh, Pat, I've known him now coming up on, I believe, a year now. Yeah. And Pat is an absolute stud located in like the Cincinnati, Dayton, Ohio area. And I'm just going to ask him a couple questions and hopefully you guys can learn a lot from him because anytime I'm around Pat, not only is he like-minded, not only is he a positive dude, but this is a perfect example of someone who's a millennial and a young guy just going after it and hustling. But here's the key word. He's not hustling, just posting pictures, hustling. He's actually doing what he needs to do to make sure his future is a success. So, Pat, go on ahead, tell them a little bit about you, kind of like what you're doing in life right now, how you started your business, and then I'll kind of proceed forward from there and guide us with some questions. Yeah, for sure. Um, like Jordan said, um, okay, here in, Sin not Cincinnati, but Cincinnati Dayton area, Centerville. Uh, what I do, basically, I'm an account manager with Solution Professional Consulting, so there, I'm just doing sales and marketing, and then we also help out companies like AT&T and DirecTV. We do business trips to like, gosh, we just got back from Columbus this past weekend. We also go to like Detroit and all that. But uh, on the side, I actually just started a business. So what we do is just sell ties to young guys, guys who are just starting their entry-level jobs, or maybe they just need something for like an occasion, like uh, prom, homecoming, just stuff like that. So it's kind of like an apparel store for uh, guys who are in the men's fashion, so. Good stuff, man. So when you say you're selling ties, where are you doing that? Are you doing it in person, are you doing it online? Yeah, all online. All mm -hmm. online, and then how, like, are you making these ties yourself, or, or how exactly are you getting this from you to the consumer? That's a great question. Uh, we're following a business model called drop shipping, so we have a supplier, and then we just go ahead and sell, and then we share the profit, so we get a percentage of it, the website we're working with it gets a percentage of it, and then that person that makes it gets a percentage. So it's all just kind of cut up in your mind. So, so let me get this straight. I'm not a drop shipping champion. Yeah. I don't really know anything about drop shipping, other than the fact my assumption is you just host a website. If yeah. I go to your website and I want to buy a tie from you, like I go to your website, did you launch it officially? Yeah, but we're still working on it. Okay. Yeah. Clearly. Awesome. I love it though. But we'll have a link in the description below for you guys, for people that want to buy ties and, and support a local business owner. But my understanding is if I buy a tie from you, it's yeah. kind of like Amazon. Somebody else just ships it to me and it has nothing like you don't touch it. Pretty much. Yeah. That's pretty sweet, man. What got you into that? Uh, you know, I work with a buddy of mine named Max. We just hired him into the company and I've been training him up, just getting to know him. He's like, you know, man, I do this thing called drop shipping. I'm like, that's awesome, man. Tell me about that. He's like, basically, it's just like what we talked about. So we just have people buy it off the site and all that. I was like, dude, you know what would be awesome, though? If we just did ties. He's like, that's not a bad idea. So him and I just partnered up, and now we're doing that. Sweet, dude. I love it. So let's transition here for a second. So the other night, you and I caught up, and we uh, we had a great conversation, in my opinion. Um, and I kind of want to jump back on that topic because I learned a lot from you that night, whether you think I did or not. Um, I loved it, man. You just word vomited from your heart. You word vomited things that are really impassionate to you. So let's just kind of start with this kind of first segue question, whatever you want to call it. So you're 21 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, didn't go to college. You know, you did en enlist in the military. However, um, what is your beliefs on success out there? Um, do you need a degree? Do you not need a degree? Like what's your thought process behind it? Cause I know you read like three books every day or something crazy. Honestly, um, when it comes to success, it's just about having that end goal and then what you're willing to do about it. It's pretty generic, but like, for example, let's say a young guy like myself, I want to be a successful entrepreneur now and in the future. So what I want to go ahead and do is basically just learn from the guys who have done it and who are doing it now. And let's say someone want to be like a doctor. Obviously, you want to learn at school. You want to learn from the doctors. You want to learn from the experiences. So really, success is just you got to keep at it. It's going to be like a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. We've all heard that, too. 
But another thing a lot of people are forgetting is that we, well, you want to ask questions. You want to learn. You don't ever want to stop learning because you're never done. That's the thing about success. A lot of people think, you know, they're going to get at a certain point. That's the end goal. They're thinking, okay, I want to, once I get that, let's say Lamborghini, I'm done. Once you hit the Lamborghini, you're not going to want to be done because that process is going to get you to fall in love with it. So really, success is not just hitting an end point. It's just going to be, I like to call it like stepping stones. You're going to like reach one stepping stone, then you want to keep going up and up and up. So success is never ending, really. I love it, man. Who are some of your uh, top people you've learned the most from? Uh, Actually, you. Um, and then really just reading a lot of books and just putting everything and just notes and in my thoughts, just formulating what my beliefs are. So, okay. So you said, you mentioned books. Uh, what book are you reading right now? Oh man, I'm actually doing three right now. I'm reading relentless by Tim (laughs) Grover. I read that in the morning to get me pumped up and ready to take on some tasks. Also a really good book. I highly suggest to anyone, whether it's business or relationships, whatever it is, it's a uh, power of positive thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. That book really, it's going to change your thinking and honestly your attitude and perspective on everything. And then another good book I'm working on right now is verbal judo. Huh. So basically it's pretty sweet. It's about, um, communication and how to talk to people. So like whether it's, you're doing a sales job, whether you're doing like a job interview or even just a relationship with a good friend or mom or dad brother and sister that sort of thing so that's awesome man that's super cool i love it so um we'll kind of end on this since we're about seven minutes on this and we're going to try and shoot for about 10 minutes for these episodes and i'd love to have you back on again later man and kind of kind of teach us what you've been learning and tell us where the progress is of your business or if you start any other businesses so the last uh kind of point i want to make the other night you were telling me about a theory that you'd kind of come up with. You'd call it like the magnet theory. And for those of you that obviously weren't there for the conversation, Pat and I were kind of talking about leadership, um, leading a group of salespeople or leading a group of um, really just people in general and kind of understanding how different experiences impact people differently, if that makes any sense for everyone. So Pat, go on ahead and just kind of explain what the magnet theory is. Yeah, for sure. So really, the magnet theory, um, I'll start off by asking a basic question. So if you have two magnets and you put the negative side on one magnet and then the other one's negative two and you try to put the other, it's obviously not going to work. Same thing if you do positive. But a positive and a negative is going to work. So what I mean by that and this theory that I kind of came up with is this. So like, let's say you're running a business or even a relationship. So like, let's say you're in a negative position or like something negative has happened during um, whatever you're going through in your business or relationship, et cetera, whatever it could be. So like, let's, let's take a business for example. So the business isn't doing so hot. Your guys are very down on themselves and kind of skeptical about what's going on. And as a leader, you don't want to be negative. So that's where it's wrong right there. So you got a negative occurrence and then a negative Response really when I think about it, in my opinion is a reaction and reactions don't work. You want to respond But a negative response with a negative occurrence. It doesn't work out. It doesn't play out. You're gonna have people leaving you um, It'll all just fall through same thing with a relationship same thing with partnership, whatever your case may be but the same thing also goes with a positive so with a positive occurrence you don't want a very positive response. So I'm going to go into detail about that and what that means. So an example would be like the NBA Finals. You don't win one game during the finals and think, oh, I did it. I'm going to pop the champagne and I'm done. It's not like that. You want to go ahead and think, okay, well, this is just one game during the finals. That's great. But we have a couple of more games to go until we win that championship. So really the big thing about it is just the difference between emotion and logic. Now, when we take the two other occurrences, so let's take the negative one, for example. If your business, we'll use that example again, your business is failing, you're splunking, it's going downhill, you're in a negative time, you want to be positive about it. You want to have your logic there like, well, business is shut down. I still have a team of people here. 
we can still get something done. Can you communicate with your guys, with your team, with whoever, and understand that stuff's going to happen. It's part of life. It's part of business. It's part of everything. But you have to have that watch behind that, and you have to give people inspiration. Everybody loves inspiration. That's why we love those movies like Friday Night Lights. And when it comes to a positive situation, it's like I said, you don't want to be popping champagne when you just won the first game of the finals. You want to go ahead and have that logic and think, Okay, well, we got a couple more games to go, but this is awesome. So, really, it's just the difference between emotion and logic and having that response versus a reaction. So, you want to respond to your situation with logic and the appropriate emotion instead of going all out in your feelings and your emotions and saying, like, or Bob, you messed up on this, or cool, we're going to go ahead and win the whole thing when you just won one game. So, that's pretty much the magnet theory. So whatever you classify your situation, positive or negative, have the opposite reaction. Have that logic. Don't be too into your emotions about it. So that's really the magnet theory. I love it, man. I love, I love it. So it. Love it. <clears throat> just for clarification, so if you're having a super positive experience, like – Life's going really well. Business is going really well. Things are amazing. When you say have like a negative associated with it so it attracts, basically what you're explaining is not a negative mentality to your positive. You're basically saying hunker down, be logical, and understand that you can't always ride on your successes, that life is ups and downs, and you have to just be mentally prepared to continue to keep going after it. Is that kind of what you're saying? It's like you don't want to be too caught up in the moment. You don't want to be thinking like it's just like I was talking about with stepping stones. You don't want to be thinking like you're done because the minute you get content, the minute you're gonna fall off. You want to have that logic, and that's why I consider that negative because a lot of people, when you kind of like quote rob them of their success by using logic, saying okay, well we put like we we'll use the basketball analogy again. Okay, we played a really good game. But we still have a couple to go. A lot of people would view that as, oh, we, he just soiled the moment. But, again, you don't want to be too into that emotion of winning or, you know, quote, we just did it when you haven't really done it yet, if that makes sense. So, really, it's just about that logic. Makes complete sense, brother. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for coming on tonight. Uh, I know this is real short, guys. It's the very first interview. Uh, we'll have Pat on a couple more times. This guy, follow him, friend him, reach out to him. He is a wealth of knowledge. Uh, I'm not kidding. Every time I've ever hung out with this guy or any time I hang out with him, all he talks about is what he's learned in books. He's just overflowing. Like It's literally like somebody's just sitting there on Instagram just reading daily quotes. It's so funny, but I love everything about it because I'm like learning stuff left and right. We call them knowledge nuggets from space, like meteor showers. Super smart guy. So reach out to Pat. If you guys have any questions about drop shipping or just wanting to understand how you even start doing something like that, since he's just getting started, reach out to him as well. You never know. Maybe you guys could do something together. So appreciate it, Pat, uh, and everything that you do. And uh, we'll see you next time.